And it's important to know that Ananias and Sapphira were not forced to sell the property. Nobody told them that they had to do that. The problem was that they pretended to give more than they actually gave. They kept some of the proceeds while implying that they gave all of the proceeds. As many of you know, in high school and in my early college years, I was part of the heavy music scene. I was in a couple different Christian hardcore bands and in high school, uh, th this heavy music movement actually gained a lot of traction and, and, and kind of uh, people wearing band tees in high school uh, kind of became like the big thing to do. And there would be people that would start wearing the, the band tees of these heavy bands uh, that they would get from Hot Topic. Yet people that were truly in the heavy music scene knew that these people actually were not listening to the music. They just wanted to appear to be cool. And we would call these people posers. Yep. And there's a lot of posers in the country music scene right now. Uh, people appearing to be something that they truly aren't. Newsflash, um, Beyonce is not a country girl, okay? Um, but Anias and Sapphira wanted to appear to be something that they were not. They wanted to appear to be that they were oh so holy. They were putting on a lovely front in order to conceal the sin that was in their lives. And this verse makes it clear that they were partners in this deception. They both wanted the image of radical generosity without actually being radically generous. They were what I call spiritual posers. And we are spiritual posers when we deliberately attempt to make people think that we are more spiritual than we really are. And it is my fear that in the capital C church, that there are a lot of spiritual posers.